Hi everyone, my name is Ron Leite and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we are going to be talking about the text preprocessing tool that's under text mining in the Altrix Designer Intelligence Suite license. Here I have some examples, but let's take a look at the tool first. So you can set the language, which is English, German, Spanish, French, Portuguese or Italian. You can select the column that has your text and you can also select some filters here to add some more and you can also activate some options here to process your data. Here I have a sample text that's just in English and I have the column here and I didn't add anything else. You can see the results here are my text column and then this underscore processed one that's the one generated by the tool. Here you can see that I have the text and here is the same thing but every single punctuation or every single word was separated by a spacebar. Now, as this test was already clean, like we didn't have some sort of faulty spacebars or anything else, the text itself is quite easy to see. Down here I have a Portuguese text and it's the exact same thing. You can see that I have the text here and here and the only thing that happened is that, for example, periods have now a spacebar between them like the last one here also. Now let's see what we can add in the tool. If we add this tool here, the convert word to root, or meaning that it's going to lemmatize the word, it's going to process the words in its most basic form. So universities is plural, so it goes to a singular. Ran is past tense, so it goes to the normal verb. Classes is plural, it goes to a singular. Mondays, so all it does is grab verbs and go to the single, like the most basic form, and plurals go to a singular form. Now we have some filters here, and we can add digits, punctuation, or stop words. So here I have an address, and you can see that I have numbers here, here, and here. If I just click here on digits and process the data, all of the numbers will be gone. Note that the punctuations are still here. If I go to the second options, I just added here the punctuation, so only the punctuation is gone. And then we have the stop words. Now for the stop words, we can add another here. You can see that we have the D for the text and then an S input. This S input is for stop words. When we select here, you can see that we can use the default stop words we can manually add stop words here or we could have a text input and then each stop word in a different row here. One single column and many different rows for each one of those. Note that the stop words will be words that we removed from your text. So if I see here I have my text and then for example I'm removing the words true and deliver. So if I check here you see that I have the end to end and now I don't have the two anymore. The deliver is not here anymore. And also you can see that some other words are missing. So for example, if I check here, data meaning offers a full suite. So a full suite, here's it just have suite. So why did a full get erased? This is because of the default words. If I open the help page for this tool, and then if I scroll down here, I can see which stop words are default for every language. Let's open the English one and here all of the words inside here are the ones that are going to be removed. So you can see that A is removed, FO is removed, if you scroll down here, let's see if we have another one. WE, if I come here, WE deliver, so we don't have the WE anymore and deliver is out because we added it here. So you can decide if you want 
or not to use those stop words in your text preprocessing, but if you do, just remember to check here so you're not missing words that are important for you. So that's it for the text preprocessing tool. Thank you for watching and have a great day. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.